Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be carrying on with the Survival Starter House series. And today, we're going to be building this really, really nice, awesome uh, house that I made probably about two days ago. And we're going to tutorial this thing. And as you can see, it's pretty much got everything you need. It looks super, super awesome. And uh, it would definitely impress, I think, if you build it in Survival. I mean, it's compact. It's got like a little wheat farm, a farm at the back. And of course, it's got interior if I uh, go in and show you that. You know, crafting room, furnace, anvil, everything you kind of need uh, in Minecraft. Carrot farm, just kind of for, you know, the aesthetics, really. It just kind of looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get into building this thing. Okay, so let's go through some of the materials we're going to need first. Oak wood, oak wood planks, oak wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, glass panes, stone brick stairs, spruce wood stairs, and some oak doors. Now, of course, as per usual, we will need some more materials, but we'll get to them when we need to use them later on in the tutorial. Okay, first things first, we're gonna grab ourselves our oak logs. We're gonna come to wherever we wanna build this house and place one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. We're then gonna jump ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And on the 11th block, place another oak like that. We're then gonna hop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the 10th block, we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, and six oak wood like that. We're now gonna hop out one on each side and place another oak block like that. We're then gonna count one, two, three, four. And on the fourth block in, we're gonna place another one and one, two, three. And on the fourth block in, we're gonna place another one just like this. What we can then do is place an oak stair like that in the center of these. Then we're gonna place upside down stairs in between all of these blocks around the edges like so and we're going to put fences on top of these in just a second like this we can grab our fences and place them all the way around just not over the one with the stair of course because you know we're going to be needing to use that stair we're now going to delete these three blocks under each of these and we're going to fill these with water because we are going to be placing you know wheat farms at the front of the house and you usually need water for the wheat to grow what we're now going to do on the back of here is place a row of oak planks like that one more row of oak planks and then in the middle oh we're going to place one more just like that so from the top you should have this shape here what we're now going to do either side of this single block is place one two three four five six seven oaks like that and do exactly the same on the other side of that just like so what we can then do is place an upside down stair two blocks up for the door frame and two more stairs on each side of these oak logs just like this we can also jump one more block above this upside down stair and place another upside down stair like that we can then grab our glass panes, put them there, and place a door on the back of this oak block, just like so. So from the front of the house so far, we kind of have this. What we're now going to do is place oak planks all the way around here. Fill up these two at the bottom as well. We can do that here as well, like this. We can then place our glass panes in the center of these, and these form our bottom story windows on the front of the house. We're then going to place another two rows of oak planks on top of the windows, like this. And then what we can do is place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven more oak logs on the front just like that. What we can now do is jump one block in and place a little L shape of oak planks like that. Do exactly the same on this side, just like so. We can then place one, two, three, four, five, and six panes of glass like that. And then another one, two, three oak planks on top. So what you have is this kind of like upward triangle kind of shape. We can then grab ourselves our spruce planks. We're going to place one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three on this side, just like so. We're then going to grab ourselves any leaf of your choice. I'm going to use birch personally because I think they look good. We're going to place one, two, three like that. And one, two, three like that also. We can then remove the leaves from our inventory. What we can now do is hop to the side of the build. Place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the ninth block, we can place one more oak log coming like that. And bring it up one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can do exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then place one, two, three, four, five, six oak logs just like so. What we can now do is bring these up to match this block here, bring it along, and make a little rectangle on each side. And we're then going to fill in and add the side windows for the house. We're going to place a row along the top, a row along the bottom, just like this. We're now going to place two more on each side, like that. We're going to leave a two block gap either side place two up in the middle two upside down stairs are going to go on each gap and then we're going to place two glass panes in the center of those just like this and we can then repeat this process on the other side 
So along the bottom, along the top, two on each side, two in the middle. Upside down stairs are going to go in and so are our glass panes and the sides of the house are pretty much complete. We are going to go in and grab one, two, three, four, five grass blocks like that. And we're going to place trap doors all the way around the sides of these to kind of like cover up the dirt on the sides. I mean, you could leave, I guess, the dirt showing, but probably not the best idea because dirt does look pretty ugly. Of course, we're going to do that on both sides. Just kind of make it a little bit symmetrical on each side of the house. We're then going to flick all of these and these are going to form these really, really nice looking planters. Now for the back of the house, it is simple. We are pretty much just going to copy exactly what we did on the other side. So, you know, you really, really don't need much help with this. It's extremely, extremely simple because we are basically just, just mimicking what we did on the other side of this house. And, uh, you know, to me, that is not that hard. I mean, you know, for some, maybe, but nah, mate. We have got this. We're going to place a glass pane like that. Two glass panes for our windows, of course. We're going to go across here, grab a door, place that on the back of the block like so. Logs all the way along the top. Remember our little L shape, Ooh, one block in, like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six panes of glass. And then another one, two, three oak planks on top. And what we have for the back of the house should look exactly the same as the front without the spruce little overhang over the door because we are not adding that on the back of the house. What we're gonna do is jump one out each side with the logs again, but this time we're gonna jump one, two, place one, one, two, place one, and you should have three blocks in the middle where we're going to place one, two, three forwards facing stairs, upside down stairs along all the rest of them, like this. And then, of course, we're going to go in to, oh, I'm missing them. We're going to go into the middle and we're going to fill all of this in with oak blocks because, you know, you're going to want your balcony to at least, uh, you know, be able for you to stand on. We're going to grab ourselves the fences, go around the edges like that. Just making sure, as again, don't go over here. Just making sure that, of course, you don't go over the stairs because, you know, you're going to want to access this house. We're also, we can also grab our leaves again, place one, two, three, one, two, three. And for now, we are done with the back side of this house. For the flooring, I'm simply just going to use spruce wood. I mean, you could use any wood you wanted, you know, birch, jungle, oak, acacia. It's really up to you. You could even use stone, diorite, whatever really floats your boat. But just for the purpose of my tutorial, I'm going to use spruce because I think that the dark kind of color of it kind of contrasts between the light and the kind of medium dark colors of the oak. We can also add our second story. We're just going to place this one block above the glass, as you can see. And we're going to place and fill in this entire area with the spruce wood planks. I mean, well, I'm using spruce. Like I said, use any block of your choice and we are good to go. Okay, so now we're going to move on to building the roof. Now, it may look a little bit complex, but I can assure you it's simply, uh, it's very, very simple to do. What we're going to do is grab ourselves our stone brick stairs. We're going to place upside down ones on either end of these oak logs. We're then going to place a normal and the normal. And what you're going to want to do is basically follow these up until you meet in the middle. Now, I do this on pretty much all of my tutorials. I kind of do this pattern with the upside down stairs until you meet like that. And in the center block, you actually can place an upside down stair like that and then carry on the pattern down the other side. This is very, very simple. It pretty much just takes a little bit of getting used to to understand the kind of pattern that the stairs go in like that. And there you have it. And then on the top, what you can do is place a backwards facing one and you kind of get those like flicky bits ends of the roof. Flicky end bits of the roof, which I think add a really, really cool little effect. Okay, you want to do exactly the same on the back of the house as you can see. The back of the house and the front of the house have exactly the same things. And now what we're going to do is actually join these up all the way along. Just like this, we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So as you can see, pretty much the stone kind of just borders off the spruce, as you can see from the example house at the back. We're also going to place upside down stairs on all the back of these. We're just going to do this while we can, just so it doesn't get too like complicated later in the tutorial. So just go along and place these all along the backs, so, like this. And what that does is covers up this little gap and also leaves this cool little ridge, which I think adds a little bit more depth to the build. You can't really see it, but if you do walk under here, you'll, you know, you'll appreciate it. What we're now going to do is fill in all of these gaps with spruce wood 
just like so. Don't do the other side just yet because it is a little different due to the little carrot farm that kind of pokes out the side of it. Of course, you don't have to add the carrot farm. You could maybe add like uh, a window in the roof, which would also look really, really nice and uh, sweet. But, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to add the carrot farm. And I think it looks pretty cool, like fantasy, how it's kind of sticking out the side of the roof. It's pretty unusual and um, don't really see that much. Um, so that's why I added it. You know, that is why I added it. You don't have to, but we're just filling all the spruce up now. And then what you can do on these ends is actually add upside down stone brick ones just to kind of cover up the dirty look of the spruce. Um, unless you want to add spruce, but then uh, you can do that. But, you know, just placing those like this for the right side of the roof. We're just going to start by placing the outer two stairs on each side like this. Okay. Then what we're going to do is count one, two, three up. And on the fourth, we're going to bring them all the way along like so. Just like this. And then on the backs of these, what we can do is place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upside down stairs like that. Again, on the top like so. We're then going to go ahead and do this for all of these ones as well, just to kind of smoothen out the roof on the inside, kind of making the edges kind of not as jagged, which, you know, does look a lot, lot nicer when you're on the inside. We can then fill this entirely with spruce wood planks like this. We're then going to go in and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs, take them all the way along the top, completing the kind of frame that we're using with the stone bricks. And we can also go in and replace these like that. Add our stone bricks to cover up the rest of the spruce we're going to need to do that on the other side as well remember that whatever you do to the front kind of happens to the back um little stairs like that and the roof is very much complete now what we're going to be doing is adding the little kind of carrot farm up on this side of the roof on top of these oak blocks we're going to place a strip of dirt like that and on the back we're going to do exactly the same i'm going to plant carrots in mine simply because i think carrots kind of look pretty uh, especially in a small amount i mean you don't really need them but they always come in handy. Of course, in survival, you're not going to have uh, farmland to place. You're actually just going to have to, you know, put the dirt down and hoe it and plant the seeds yourself. Place trapdoors all the way along the front. And then for the sake of this tutorial, I'm actually just going to bone mill the carrots entirely up. Actually, not all of them because it's kind of nice to see some like kind of grown, kind of not just like this. What we're now going to do is jump to the back of our house and grab ourselves some fences and some oak fence gates. We're going to place one, two, leave a gap, place another two like so. We can then place one, two, three, four, five, like that. Join them at the ends. Do exactly the same on this side. Like that. All the way around. We're then going to place some fence gates, of course, at the front of these. Just so you can kind of get through. We're then going to grab ourselves any shovel and dig up all of this ground to kind of make a pathway. And then we're also going to do that in the middle of the animal pens, like this. Just to kind of make it look like the animals have been standing on the ground, which I think is pretty sweet. On the back end of this, we're going to place an oak fence gate in the center. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five leaves either side of it. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. What I'm going to do just for this tutorial is place my animals in there. Of course, if you're in survival, you're probably going to do a little bit more, you know, legit. You know, you're going to go catch the animals, put them in there, and then, of course, breed them. To finish off the back of the house, we're actually going to place a torch on the end and on the middle fence, just like so. And while we're on torches at the front, we're going to do exactly the same. One, two, three, four, just like so. On the front of the house now, we're going to dig up one, two, three, four, five blocks. In front of each of these oak logs, like so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to replace these with facing upwards oak logs like that. So you kind of get this spirally circular uh, motion kind of like top, I guess, to it. You know what I mean? So it's not facing sideways. It's facing upwards. We're then going to dig up one, two, three, four, five blocks. With our dirt path, we can place one, two, three, four, five fences on each of the far sides. And then we're going to place one, two, three, four, five pressure plates on each of the inner sides. We're going to place a fence gate in the center. And then we're going to place one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five birch leaves like so. What we're now going to do is hold up all of this farmland because, of course, we are going to be growing wheat on here. You don't have to grow wheat, you can grow carrots at the front if you want, watermelons, whatever you feel like, even sugarcane if you really wanted to. But, you know, it's just a personal preference, I guess. I'm just putting wheat because I feel like, you know, in survival, that can sometimes come in pretty handy. For the sake of the tutorial, again, I'm just going to pretty much grow randomly to kind of make it look pretty funky. Um, you know, in survival, you're going to have to wait for it because that's what you do in survival. Um, and unless you have a lot of bone meal, I mean, if you have a lot of bone meal, then you are a pretty lucky dude. Or gal. Girls play Minecraft too. 
Okay, so now we're going to get on to the interior of the house. So coming inside on the first floor, as you can see, it's a pretty boxy room. The materials we're going to be using are some oak wood, some ladders, some spruce wood planks, some signs, some wooden trapdoors, crafting table, furnace, chest, and an anvil. First things first, we're going to come to the back door, and we are going to break these two blocks just like that. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five ladders on each side of those, just like this. We're then going to turn to this side of the build, and we're going to place one, two, three, four and five furnaces like that with a spruce block either side we're then going to place one two three four five six seven trapdoors we're going to place ourselves a chest one two like that and one block away from that we're going to place ourselves an anvil like this what we can then do is grab ourselves the oak logs place one two three four five six and seven across there and we're also going to do this one block away from this side one two three four five six and seven and what this does is kind of creates these cool looking beams and it kind of separates the ceiling making it not look as boxy and adding a lot of cool detail on this side of the room we're going to place ourselves one two three crafting tables like that we're going to place trapdoors all the way along the tops like this and we're then going to place one two three four spruce wood planks like so we can then go around all the spruce wood planks and we can add ourselves some signs like this just to kind of tidy them up make them look a little bit more like drawers what we can then do is go in and grab ourselves some torches and a carpet of your choice i'm going to use gray carpet the torch is going to go here turn around and here on the middle block of the three and the carpet is just going to go in the center and we're going to make a one two three four five six seven eight nine block carpet just like this okay moving on to the upstairs of the house we're going to grab spruce wood planks spruce wood stairs red bed chest armor stands carpet and torches the torches are going to go here and here on the ends above each window. On the back of the carrot farm, we're going to place a chest in the center, place two double chests on either side of the middle one, and we're going to place upside down spruce stairs to kind of cover up the dirt behind those. On the other side, we're going to place a bed in the middle like so. We're going to place we're going to place a spruce wood plank, leave a gap, spruce wood plank, and do exactly the same on the other side. And then we're going to place a chest in the middle on each of the sides with an armor stand facing directly towards the middle of the room like this. On each side we can then place whatever armor on these armor stands that we choose i'm just using iron for the sake of this tutorial you know leather diamond gold it all works pretty well we're then going to place another one two three four five six seven eight nine block carpet and the upstairs interior is also complete and i think this upstairs interior looks super super cool and definitely and is definitely awesome looking for survival the last thing we need to do is on the outside is just place some flowers in the planters on each side of the house just to kind of make them look a little nicer just like this and that is it guys that is this awesome starter slash survival house complete hopefully you have enjoyed i mean i think it's a pretty cool design you have everything you need for survival minecraft i mean you have your little farm you have uh you know your farmland as well wheat carrots and a very very nice looking house to accompany those if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like it motivates me to make more content just like this subscribe if you are new around here for more videos every other day or i try to anyway I love you all so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.